CNN obtained a new report showing Moscow may already be getting a boost on the battlefields from Beijing. Troves of trade data collected and supplied by the Center for Advanced Studies, a D.C. think tank. The data shows China sending Russian defense companies sophisticated parts. We see the nature of these parts being labeled explicitly for use in military systems. They could be helping Russia resupply. Their data shows military assistance from several Chinese companies, even before the war. Dual-use aircraft, radar, and lab equipment flowing into Russia 268 times, shipped by Polygroup or its umbrella company, Poly Technologies, a state-backed Chinese arms manufacturer. When I saw a uh, senior foreign policy official, Wang Yi, uh, on the margins of the Munich uh, meetings just a week or so ago, I raised with him our very real concern that, based on information we have, China is considering supplying lethal military assistance to Russia. We've not seen it do that yet, but we've seen it considering that proposition. And what I shared with him again uh, was that this would be a serious problem for us in our relationship with China. And I made clear that there would be consequences for engaging in those actions. Uh, so I'm not going to detail uh, what they would be, but of course we have sanctions authorities uh, of, of various kinds. That would certainly be one of the things that we and others would look at. And I say others because this concern that China is considering providing lethal military assistance to, to Russia, this is a shared concern. And many other partners uh, have uh, raised this, and not just raised this with us, but it's my understanding have raised it directly with China, including here today in Delhi. Uh, the People's Republic of China provides lethal support to Russia. Uh, then it becomes a co-belligerent in many ways and that there would be consequences. Uh, and so this is a, a very concerning moment and a very big choice uh, for Xi Jinping uh, if he decides in fact to take this step.